this is the last day of vacation. I wanted to do like a, a lookbook of all the different outfits that I was wearing and the people around me were wearing. But with so much water stuff and excursions, this camera didn't go with me everywhere, right? Like it could have, would have, should have. <laughs> Say hi. Hello. Toffee. 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 Toffee, go that way. Is she just not responding to me? She just likes you more than me right now. <laughs> I almost died yesterday. No, I, almost died. I did almost die. I almost died. First off, when we got to Excarit, to enter the park, you have to swim 302 meters through a river. I should explain more than that. Really? That's what it said on the thing overhead. I don't know. It's way longer than 302 meters. Longer than 302 meters. <laughs> or maybe they meant 302 to the next exit. Yes, that's what that was. And we were all well, we were well into it at that point. I can't swim. <laughs> I can't swim at all. Nope. At all. So there's just this cave. I didn't need your commentary, David. <laughs> Kick your feet. <laughs> There, there's so much to do though. I told my swim coach when I was taking my um, eight swim classes, like, you gotta kick and move your arms and remember to turn your head and breathe. And it's just too much. I need to learn one thing at a time. And it's like the first two classes are that, and then the second classes. Anyway, I almost died. <laughs> because, no, I was, I was doggy paddling along, moving my inch per an hour one inch an hour but we had to be somewhere at what time was our sea trip our yeah. hydro knot our hydro knot thing was at 11 40 11 10 we 10 40 10 40 we had to be there because it was at 11 so we have to watch the video and get our 100 pound helmets on so we could stay on the bottom of the ocean and so this guy saved me he like dragged me through the <laughs> through the cave. Yay! And then the second time I almost died. <laughs> the second time I almost died, I was we were snorkeling and the ocean just tried to take me. The ocean tried to take me. I was okay when I was closer to the shore, closer to where there were no fish. But then I tried to go to where David and Cameron were standing and I floated right past them. It just kept going all the way to the very end. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to die. <laughs> I, I'm gonna die. And the, the ocean is going to take me and I'm just gonna be floating around Mexico. And <laughs> There's a rope. And then the guy is like, I'm like waving to the lifeguard and he's like, grab the rope because he didn't speak a, any English. So I grabbed the rope. And then again, this guy came and got me and walked me to the stairs. That was really nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I'm really glad I brought you on this trip. You look helpless. And then, what else? Did I, did I almost die again? No, Okay. So, only twice. I almost died twice. So. You got a bath and you also considered that saving your life. Oh my goodness. And then I texted him because he left at 4.30. And Cameron wanted to watch the show, the Mexico show. The History of Mexico show. Which was absolutely amazing, beautiful. The, the costumes were great. I think she's going to send me her snaps of that because my phone started to die. So before my phone died, I texted him like, hey, run me the hottest bath ever at 930 because that's when our uh, transportation was coming to take us back. And he was like, I run a little bit after 930 because it's going to take you like an hour to get here because he left at 430. And so he already knew. 
And so when I got here at 11, probably 11, because we didn't leave until like 9.50, because some snot-nosed kids were like late getting on the bus. So it's 9.30, do you want to live in this amusement park? Actually, yes, it would be kind of cool to live in an amusement park. But yeah, it was really hot in the jet tub. I turned the jets on and just relaxed. And layers and layers of sunblock and bug repellent just came off. And then I got in the shower because that's how you actually get clean. You don't get clean in the bathtub. Or at least I don't. I don't get clean in the bathtub. Because the dirt doesn't wash away, it stays in the bathtub with you. <laughs> and now I want some breakfast. Oh, steak. When I got to the room, he had had steak and a Caesar salad and opened our bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. They never opened it. Nobody wanted it. We had never opened it. It's red wine. Is it dry red wine? Mm -hmm. I don't like it's not, dry red It's not dry, but it's not sweet either. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. And so I'm like, I want a Caesar salad and steak too. And I wanted to eat it in the bed. <laughs> I'm like, I wanna eat it right here in the bed, right in his spot. And he told me no. So pull the whatever whatever this chair table thing is. It's not one of the bedside stands. I pulled it up next to the bed and I ate my food in the bed. So kinda. Of on the side of the bed. And that is my story for yesterday. Did I forget anything? No. No. And so now we're going to go home. Back to our regular lives. Which is okay. I mean, I don't hate my regular life. It just isn't a vacation. <laughs> it's what? Not making it's not Mexico. I live in America. <laughs> she just woke up. Who? Cameron. She's mm -hmm. like, when I I just woke up. Did she go out last night? Yeah. She texts me like I'm here. Or we're over here at midnight. And I'm like, over where? No, I'm eating my steak. <laughs> and Caesar salad next to the bed.